Welcome to another Pioneer Sports Extra here on MNUSports.com. I'm Amber Merrifield, and I'm here with MNU's quarterback, Tyler Hurl. Thanks for being with us today, Tyler. And first off, you were named Hack Offensive Player of the Week for the third time this season. How do you feel about that accomplishment? Um, obviously, it's a great honor. You know, I couldn't get there without my without my receivers and my other teammates. You know, Jared stepped up and made a few big plays, and it's just one of those things, like, you don't really know how good a game you're having until, you know, it's all said and done. So I just want to thank my teammates. You know, everything I did, I couldn't do without them. And then obviously your team's successful also. You guys are 7-1 and one on the season, coming off a 52-14 to 14 victory over Evangel. How do you feel about your team as a whole going into your last two games of the regular season? I think right now we're finally trying to hit our, you know, hit our stride, you know, and just really get that chemistry that we were looking for all season. You know, it's important that, you know, you figure out all little nuts and bolts, you know, going into the last couple of games, especially heading into playoffs. Now, looking back on week one, how do you feel you've grown as a quarterback towards the end of the season? Um, you know, week one, the offense is new, but as, as the season progresses, you learn more about the offense, you learn more about the players, you know, you learn more of their personality types, and you just, you, de you develop more throughout the season. That's what makes us, you know, we want to hit that stride, you know, hit our peak going into the playoffs. Now, head coach Sean Quinn is a former quarterback himself. Does that help you at all, having a head coach that's also been a former player of the same position that you play? Oh, of course. You know, he just he knows how to talk to quarterbacks. He knows how to teach quarterbacks. You know, I just try to try to pick his brain for every little thing I know. And everything he tells me, you know, you just always have in the back of your mind. It, it does help having a, having a former quarterback, you know, as your coach because he just he relies so much information to you. It helps. It helps a great deal. All right. Now, coming up next, you're going to host Central Methodist this Saturday. What have you been watching on film on them this week? What do you expect from them? What have you been preparing for? Well, obviously, they're a good team. They do a lot of different things on defense. They blitz. They blitz probably more than any team we face this year. we got a lot of great athletes. You know, if we just go out and execute and run, run our plays the right way, I think we'll be fine. Great, Tyler. You can catch Tyler and the Pioneers this Saturday at 1 p.m. against Central Methodist University. I'm Amber Merrifield, and this has been MNUSports.com.